Shalom Ubracha. Today I received an email from a student of mine, a sweet person and a bit confused. And he told me that no matter what he do, does, no matter how much effort he puts in his learning and in his prayers, he is still so far from the Creator. And no matter how much power he put into it, he cannot come closer to Hashem. Now, I do feel compassion and love and my will to help that guy is complete. But that guy is suffering for, um, from a very basic mistake that is coming from lack of self-esteem, low self-esteem, lack of faith in himself, and consistent fear from other people that brings him to follow other people's opinions without checking and clarifying things on his own with himself. Now, the Creator, when He created us, so He made us to be in His shape and in His figure. And He put the godly soul into our bodies and that's our lifeline and that's our existence. That is our essence, our life is the breath that He put into our bodies. Who we are is the light of Hashem. Now, as ones that are considered as the Holy Chariot of the Creator Himself, how can it be that a person will be far from the Creator. It's wrong. It's a mistake. You are never far from the Creator. If now you are a child and your father sent you to school and they kicked you out of school in the middle of the day and you're coming back home broken and sad and also afraid and whatever it doesn't change the fact that you are a son of the Creator. It doesn't change the fact that you are the son of your father and that you can explain your heart to your father and tell him, listen, they kicked me because of A, B, C and explaining and talking and even admitting your mistakes and your failures. But still, the relationship between you and your father and not depend in the fact that you've been kicked out of school because you were not able to focus, to learn, because someone was nagging you, something was nagging you, something was annoying you. It won't affect your connection, family connection to your father. People that feel that they are separated from Hashem are people that unfortunately have very strong fear from people and they're following people's opinion and methods and when they see that they are not able to follow other people's advice, rabbi's advice, teacher's advice, righteous people's advice, so they think to themselves that they are failures, that they failed. But the real truth is that they were even ideally were not supposed to try to walk in the path of another person. The fact that you hear that there is a person that keeps Shabbat or not eating dairy or doing one hour in Bodhidut or fly to 
the holy land doesn't necessarily mean that that's exactly what you need to do. It doesn't. My son just asked me if they can eat ice cream, so I told him he should ask his mother because father is recording a video. The fact that we... Thank you, Israel. So, the fact that other people keeping a certain advice doesn't necessarily mean that that advice fits for you as for now. Maybe in the future you will find the ability to fix yourself and to be qualified for those amazing, wonderful advice as well. But they are not obligating you on the second, on the spot, on the moment to become like that person as well. And it's true that as Jewish people that have been commanded to keep Torah mitzvot and to be observant, we still have certain obligations that we must keep. But if you find yourself that you're willing to keep those advice and you are willing to do as much as you can, but still you find yourself that you're falling and failing and you're not able to keep up in the same speed like your friends, like your neighbor, like your community, like the community that you desire to join to. You find yourself in a different situation. You must remember that the closeness of the Creator to you depends in the Creator's love to you and not in the greatness of your actions. If you are trying to do the best that you can and you find yourself failing over and over, not able to achieve certain things because of who knows which reasons, but your heart is aimed to Hashem and you are willing and desire to do the best that you can, you should know that the Creator is satisfied and happy with you. As long as you're not dropping the wind, as long as you're not falling to foreign and negative thoughts and you're not idolizing people and you're not following people that are negative in their mindsets and letting them set your life and your path and your future. As long as you're trying to follow the Creator and to be as good as you can, you should know that the closeness of yours to the Creator is a maximum volume and it's in the highest level of them all. The Zohar Kadosh is saying, Rahmana Liba by the Creator, He wants the heart. And if you check your heart and you see that it's honest and pure, you should be happy and satisfied from your spiritual level. And you should know that there is nothing that stops the father from loving his child ever. Amen. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always, and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.